What's cooking everybody? Today we got big news. We're finally getting raw video on an affordable camera. This is our final video that we shot at CES. Obviously we're not at CES right now, but we're going to cut to an interview that we did with Jeremy Young from Atomos to talk about the new raw recording mode on the Nikon cameras, that is the Z6 and Z7. But before I get to that, I wanted to give you a small history lesson on why raw video is so important. Raw recording for video has been around for a while now and namely with the company RED. Back in 2007, RED announced the RED 1 and said that it would shoot RAW 4K for actually an affordable price at the time. They announced this at NAB and everybody thought it was a hoax. Nobody thought this was even possible to do at the time and sure enough, RED made it happen. RED continued to push the cinema history with cameras with the RED 1 and then eventually the RED Epic. And now we're here today with lots of other cameras shooting RAW, but unfortunately most of them aren't as good as RED and here is why. Up until now, unless you were shooting on a RED camera, recording RAW was very hard to do. The post-processing required for uncompressed RAW, which is what Blackmagic cameras record in, RE, even Canon cameras record in, was just extremely taxing on your computers. It was so hard to edit RAW from those types of cameras on a laptop or even an expensive machine. You typically had to use smaller file sizes that were recorded in like an MPEG in order to actually view your footage. The thing that was amazing with RED was that you can actually take those files from those RED cameras and plug it into just a basic MacBook Pro and actually view your footage in Final Cut or Premiere and adjust your settings in post-production. If you're not familiar with how raw video works, it's essentially the same as how still photography works. Essentially what happens when you take a raw image is the camera captures that moment and lets you adjust all the settings that you would normally adjust on your camera in post. It's pretty amazing thing to have and still photographers have had it for a very, very long time in a practical way. But now that Apple has announced ProRes RAW, which is a native codec for Apple machines, we finally have a way to edit RAW video in Final Cut on a laptop, which is insane. Let's go into the past. You've gotta come back with me. And check out our interview with Jeremy Young at CES. All right, so I'm behind camera now uh, filming Jeremy, and Jeremy's walking through the new features of the Atomos Ninja 5. Tell me about the crazy awesome features that we now have. Well, I think all of you who saw the NAB announcements asked a couple of questions. First one was, does it do ProRes RAW because you just launched ProRes RAW with Apple at NAB last year? And I was like, yeah, it could do RAW, it's capable, but I don't have a camera that's giving me RAW over HDMI. Camera makers, please. This thing is ProRes RAW capable. We're not announcing a ProRes RAW capability today because there's no cameras that give it to us, but shout out loud on forum, shout out loud in social media. <laughs> Tell them that you want RAW out of your camera over HDMI and I will enable it on this little device. We then had multiple meetings with lots of different camera makers and um, there's been good activity in that area and Nikon have led the charge and we're showing the capability of the Ninja 5 to record ProRes RAW from a from a full frame mirrorless 35 millimeter camera. I mean, let me repeat that with stabilization. It's an unbelievable solution and it's only two grand for the Z, Z6, Z6. Yeah. And even when you add a Ninja, it's still under $5,000. It's, it's, it's 2,700 bucks, actually. Unreal. How on earth are you doing RAW over HDMI? This is the first time in history that we've That's seen that. Correct. That's correct. Well, first of all, you need two companies that are in complete control on each end, uh, which we are with our custom silicon as well as Nikon's custom silicon. And therefore, we could create the right handshakes, be the right safety net, make sure it's never going to go to a TV in the wrong format. And it really is targeted, this solution is targeted at cinematic, video blogging, YouTubing, Instagramming, and that, you know, bottom end of what you, we used to call pro video, right? Yeah. But is now a whole nother category by itself, which is also leveling up its game with slow motion and lots of different yeah. stuff. So no matter which market you're going for, we want to enhance your workflow and give you more creative flexibility and that's why we have unlocked at a $700 price point the Ninja 5 with ProRes RAW and it is 
quite an achievement for both companies to be able to do that. So we're very, very proud of it. What I think is the right thing for customers and what we've done with Nikon is to put together a, a filmmaker's kit and it's four grand, not $5,200. And you, what do you get? You get the, one of the best photography cameras in the world. You get the Ninja, you get a gimbal and you get a case and you get a lens and you get an adapter to use all your Nikkor lenses. Is that a non-coiled uh, Atomos cable that I see there? That is a non-coiled Atomos cable. Is that something that we'll be seeing soon too? I think you can safely bet that that's something you'll be seeing pretty soon. Very, very exciting. ProRes Raw, we're going to have to do our own video on ProRes Raw in the future. Absolutely, please. We'd love to help you. This is something that everyone's jumped on board with um, and it's been developing for a few years now and I think it's just steam train and it's yep. running away. Raw for the masses. All for the masses. It's amazing. Well, thank you so much, Jeremy. No problem. To kind of wrap everything up, ProRes RAW is truly revolutionary. It's the first RAW recording format next to Red RAW that you can actually edit on a laptop. The big difference, however, is the fact that you can now buy the Nikon Z6 or Z7 and the Atomos for under $5,000 and shoot raw 4K. Compare that to RED setup with the VistaVision sensor and you're spending $60,000. They told us that we'll be seeing this update around summertime of 2019, so stay tuned for that. Anyways guys, are you excited about ProRes RAW? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, enable bell notifications so that you can see any of the new videos that we have coming up. If you're interested in buying the Filmmaker's Kit or the new Atomos Ninja 5 and you want to show your support to the channel, then consider using the affiliate links below. Once again, I'm Dave Altizer. We can't wait to update our Nikon Z6, which is recording to the Atomos Ninja 5 right now, but it's only 10-bit because it's not raw yet. <gasps> See you next time.